Okay, hot tip. Pour the whole can in the glass. <laughs> Thursday, the 17th of December. We're, uh, we're getting close to the end now. It's like there is one week to go. Crazy stuff. Somehow we hit halfway and just flew past it. All right, looking a bit, a little bit overcarbonated. I know it's a salad cut. Uh, I'm not getting any, uh, any strong notes of hops over this side of the room. Let's see. Okay, this is a, this is a fruited sour. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, I'm confident. This is a fruited sour. I think this is a, uh, either a regular sort of Berliner Weisse style or it's a, um, or it's a, like a fruit smoothie. I can't tell from just the smell. I'm getting mango. I think it's just mango. Mango and passion fruit could be passion fruit. Yeah, now that I say passion fruit, passion fruit, it's lots of it. There could be a little bit of lactose in there but I can't say for sure. Uh, so I'm actually gonna guess that there's not. Uh, it doesn't seem that sweet to me. It seems quite sour. Um, not even a hint of THP to my taste. But yeah, okay, so mango, yep, tick. Passion fruit, tick. Not a whole lot of beery notes on the, <laughs> not a whole lot of beery notes on the nose. <sighs> Maybe a little bit of a, a weedy vibe but it is so far behind that amount of fruit it's this is like okay i think i think we're in super fruited territory there's a little bit of like fruit sweetness in there um but it's mainly and there's a lot of like fruit sourness in there too but so there's like uh classic kettle sour kind of sourness but i think there's quite a lot of fruit in there that is contributing quite a lot of its own kind of sour uh, sourness as well those are different sour like sour notes it, from kettle sours you get mainly uh lactic acid whereas from fruit you get maybe uh more malic acid or uh, there's like there's all these different kinds of acids that have different 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 uh qualities and different tastes to them i mean just think just think uh yogurt versus uh lemon versus uh vinegar Right, that's that's uh, acetic acid for vinegar and citric acid for for lemon and uh, and lactic acid for yogurt. They all have wildly different uh, feelings to them. Mind you, all of those occur naturally uh, in in uh, in a lot of sour beers. So yeah, I think lots of fruit, um, and I don't think lactose. So. Super fruited sour, uh, with mango and passion fruit, right? 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 Let's find out. Advent smoothie. So I was wrong on the lactose. <laughs> oh, classic. Ooh, lots of stuff I didn't get. Hey, maybe I wasn't wrong on the lactose. Well, there isn't any lactose. Oh, well, there, you, there you go. I was right for once. So, in addition to the mango and passion fruit, uh, which I was right about for once, uh, there's also pineapple and uh, and grapefruit. Let's go. Let's go hunting. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, pineapple. But it's like it's like it's almost like a sort of uh, like a fruit salad, like canned fruit salad kind of uh, vibe going with that because you, you get. You get the pineapple, you get the mango, you get the passion fruit. It all just mixes together to create tropical fruit. Uh, grapefruit. No, honestly, I don't get it. I don't get the grapefruit. Oh, I'm going to go in passion fruit, man. That's what I get. Yeah. But this, this would be as normally, normally at this time of year, I would be on a plane to Australia. Uh, to spend Christmas with my family in Australia. This beer, as Biotta writes on the label, this would be freaking perfect for uh, a Christmas in Australia. Maybe that's what it should have been called, Christmas in Australia. 
Uh, also, I, I unfortunately, Bjorta, I don't think you're going to be forgiven by the dude who sent uh, Ivan from Lindheim a uh, email about the... <laughs> no, it was the wife. The wife of the dude who sent Ivan from Lindheim an email about about uh, how challenging all these beers were and that maybe they would have worked in summer, but they definitely do not work in December. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be particularly... I don't think she's going to be particularly happy today. I don't think he's going to be particularly happy either. I'm happy. Wow. Delicious. I should have I should have had my Hawaiian shirts on today. Next time. I'll make up for it tomorrow. Alright? Oh, good gracious. Okay. Homogenization homogenization issues here. I it looks like I've just poured half the goddamn fruit out in the last half of the, the can. It was quite foamy at the start, so I didn't really have a chance to pour the entire thing into the glass, but let's see how much it changes after I got all of that fruit pulp. Just look at this. Look at this. It's nuts. Yeah. Ooh. It's got a lot more mouthfeel now. And mango is fibrous, so that's not, uh, that's not surprising. Well, depends what kind of mango. Let's talk about that another day. Mm. Okay. Hot tip. Pour the whole can in the glass. <laughs> yeah, I'll put that at the start of this video. So that, uh... So that, that you don't make the same mistake I did. Look, just look at that fucking pulp. Look at that. Look at what it's done to the glass. It's pulp in the glass. Super fruited indeed. All right. Happy Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow.